Hello, I'm Kathy from Senior Care Corner with today's Family Caregiver Tip. Our topic, how to keep your medicine cabinet safe. Our family caregivers spend a lot of time and effort helping to keep our senior loved ones safe at home. One area we may not have considered to be a danger zone is their medicine cabinet. Our seniors take two, three, or more prescription medications, not to mention the over-the-counter varieties, which can mean that their medicine cabinet is overflowing. Let's take a look at their medicine cabinet together. We'll start with their over-the-counter medications, usually their cough and cold remedies or ointments that they've used on and off for years. We want to be sure that those medications that they're taking are not expired. We know that when our medications are expired, they may not be quite as effective and we want the seniors to get all the benefits from their medications that they can. So we're going to read the labels and look for the expiration date, which you can see I've circled here. If it's expired, we want to go in and throw it out. I like circling the medication expiration date, so the next time I go to look at it, it's not so difficult to find. Let's move on now to the prescription medications. A good thing to have on hand is a current list of their prescription medications. It, it will include the name of the drug, the dosage, the time it should be taken, and the doctor who prescribed it. Remember, our seniors have more than one physician, and it can get confusing when they have more than one doctor. This list is a very handy thing to take with us to the doctor's office and let them update it, and they can keep it updated for us, and also let them know what other doctors are prescribing. This is also helpful in case of an emergency if you need to go to the hospital, so the hospital will know what medications you're taking. We can use this to help us clean out our medicine cabinet. We'll have a copy of this list on our website if you would like to download it for free. That way you can keep your own copy of your senior's medications. So looking at the prescription drugs, we're going to do the same thing that we did for the over-the-counter drugs, and that is, first thing, we want to look at what's the expiration date. I've circled this one right on the label so that I can, again, find it quickly and easily at a later time. If the prescription drug is expired, we want to dispose of it safely. We have information on our website to help you do that. There's a safe way to dispose of it and an unsafe way. We want to make sure we do that. Another thing we want to do with our prescription drugs is look on the label to see who was prescribed the drug. If you have more than one senior in your household, you want to make sure the right senior is taking the right medication. Another thing you want to take a look at on your label is to see what precautions may be listed. You want to go ahead and highlight them as I have here so that your senior is aware of how correctly to take the medication. For instance, this one may make your senior drowsy and you want to be careful with driving. Now, I also did this with the over-the-counter medications. I've gone ahead and circled the expiration date, and these labels can sometimes be hard to read because of the fine print, so I've written in larger letters, again, with my magic marker, take one medication every eight to 12 hours. That'll be easier for them to read and easier for them to use. I did that with my prescription drug as well. As you can see here on the label, one medication at 10 a.m. That'll help them, guide them on what to take and when. Another precaution that we want to take when we talk about our medicine cabinet at home is to keep it out of the reach of children and locked up if you have to so that children and teens don't have an accidental ingestion of a medication intended for a senior. We know that prescription drugs and over-the-counter drugs can be confusing for our seniors and our assistance and a little time and effort on our part will really help them with their health and well-being and to stay safe at home. We hope you've enjoyed this family caregiver tip and invite you to stop by SeniorCareCorner.com for more information for family caregivers. See you next time.